Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF movie news video, and once again, we just got a whole bunch of stuff to take a look at in today's video, ranging from brand new locations that are going to be showing up in the film in Update 2 Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, and also a leaked scene featuring Josh Hutcherson. So we got so much to talk about in today's video, let's not waste any more time, if you're brand new, consider tickling the sub button, and let's hop into the FNAF movie news. First up, we have some exclusive exclusive news from me, actually. I was contacted by a background actor in the FNAF movie, and they informed me they've been booked for a 1980s crime scene, and coincidentally, this lines up pretty perfectly with another scene happening around the same time, which involves a child's birthday party. A lot of people are speculating this could be either the missing children's incident, or maybe could even be the bite of 87, the bite of 83, who knows? And now let's move on to an update for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. Last we took a look at it, it was being built. Built. We also had an official sign for the pizzeria be made by, I think their name was Signworks LLC. Well now, as you can see, they've added the sign onto the building. This is what it looks like in HD, and my god, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Here's a quick image and video of them actually putting the sign up onto the building itself, which is pretty fascinating. Once again, very, very surreal that something like this is happening. Even if it is just a facade of the building, it's not going to be a full-scale pizzeria. It's still very, very crazy to actually look at this and to know in real life somewhere out there in Louisiana, there's a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. We also got a few more shots and updates of the facade. Looks like they're bringing it out just a little bit for a bit more depth of exterior uh, shots for the building. Highly, highly doubt they're going to build a fully-fledged pizzeria. That seems a bit excessive, but they are building it back quite a bit so maybe we're gonna get a few more exterior shots than maybe we were first expecting then we've got nighter to night back in the news they've been one of the main people providing updates on the facade of the building they posted a video a couple days ago showing off the lights lit up at nighttime which again looks absolutely phenomenal it might look just a bit bright but also keep in mind this was shot on most likely just a normal like iphone and in the movie they'll be using professional you know actual filming cameras for movies so i'm sure it won't look as bright and saturated like it does in this shot speaking of the sign actually it looks like they're going to be putting up a road sign pretty soon this was spotted off to the side of the facade set you can see it once again the exact same silhouette of freddy in the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place sign. A bit below him, you can also see an area where they can put up text on the sign. Most likely it's gonna say help wanted. And I'm sure Mike's gonna be driving across the road and at some point, you know, he looks over, sees the help wanted sign at Freddy Fazbear's and is like, yeah. I can pick up that job. And also, people notice on the same set across the street from the facade, the crew has started to put up a whole bunch of vines and shrubs around what appears to be this abandoned apartment building. Once again, not entirely sure what this building is going to be for, if this is where Mike and Abby live. We do know based off their leaked descriptions, Mike is having a pretty tough time trying to live on his own, taking care of his sister. Another theory I've seen been going around is that this could possibly be the location of Afton Robotics, where William constructs all of his, you know, murderous robots. There's also been a few other updates to the facade, also adding a few vines around the place, even security cameras on the outside, which, again, just adds to that FNAF feel. And that's all the updates we have on the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place building. Once again, tell me your thoughts on how everything's going with that facade in the comments down below. If you think the building looks interesting, you're still a fan of the sign, maybe it's growing on you now that you see it actually on the building itself. And now we can move on to some of the brand new news. Some very interesting news, because we got another location we're going to be seeing in the film revealed to us, and I don't think anyone was expecting this. This is Ice Cream Parties. There's a better shot of this area we're going to be taking a look at pretty soon, but just taking this for a second. You see that right up there on top of the sign? What is she doing here? Why is Chica's Magic Rainbow from FNAF World Update 2 in the frickin' FNAF movie? Oh my god, you already know this movie is going to be filled with so many easter eggs for hardcore fans to take a look at. Just, <laughs> I, I still can't believe it. Chica's freaking magic rainbows in the FNAF movie. Maybe if you're a newer fan, you don't know who this character is. They're basically a very, very hard boss. In FNAF world, they have a platformer minigame, which was just so unfair. It was rigged all in her favor. She's the final boss in the FNAF world update 2 version, and she is just one snarky little rainbow. <laughs> and it looks like in the film, she's going to have a 
ice cream parlor themed all around her. As you can see, this is a better shot of the ice cream area, ice cream parties. And what's fascinating about this area in particular is that it doesn't look like it's in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It looks a bit too modern, way too clean. It looks like it's in some sort of shopping district, some sort of mall. A lot of people are speculating this is the workplace of Mike Schmidt before he goes on to land the job at Freddy Fazbear's, which would make a whole lot of sense, especially considering what we're about to take a look at. If you've made it this far in the video, I'd assume you don't care that much about being spoiled for the film, but I'm going to put a spoiler warning right here. What we're about to take a look at is a leaked video of a filming for an official scene in the film involving Josh Hutcherson, aka Mike Schmidt. So last warning, if you don't want to get that scene leaked to you, maybe click off the video now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Did you hit the sub button just yet? But now without further ado, let's take a look at this video. So it's about a 30 second long clip, I might cut it down in the video because the beginning few seconds aren't anything major, but in the video you can see Josh Hutcherson in a water fountain <laughs> in an area of the ball and he's just beating the absolute crap out of someone in the fountain. And also, off to the side, you can hear some little girl shouting out daddy, daddy repeatedly. Here's another image of Josh, you can definitely make out he's wearing a security guard uniform, so maybe he's a security guard at this mall before he lands the job at Freddy's or Maybe he's already got the job at Freddy's, and he's, for some reason, at the mall. And that theory gets a bit stronger as you take a look at what someone on the scene said about what was going on in that clip. Someone in the comment section on Twitter said, Yup, I was there. It was a really sweet scene I saw. But I did overheard on what they were trying to do, so I hope this is right. The security guard, once again, Mike Schmidt, fought someone's dad because they were suspicious of him. And you've got someone asking for clarification, the security guard was sus of the dad, or the dad was sus of the guard. To which the user responded, the security guard was suspicious of the dad, possibly William Afton, because the actor is Matthew Lillard. So if we're to believe what this person's saying, we've got Mike Schmidt, Josh Hutcherson, beating the crap out of William Afton, Matthew Lillard, in the, a water fountain of a mall. All because Mike was sus, of William, the father of someone. Now, why would he be sus? Maybe it's because he knows that William is the killer. I'm spitballing here. This is a complete theory I'm throwing out. But because Mike is wearing the security guard uniform, I wouldn't be shocked if at this point in the film, the kills have already happened. Mike is probably suspicious of William of being the killer, sees him out in public at the mall, starts beating the crap out of him, and I'd assume the girl screaming in the background's Abby, which if that's true, then that does confirm, once again, spitballing here, that Mike is going to be the son of William in the film. I know in the games that's almost 100% guaranteed what we know, but because the movie's shaken up so many things, you got Vanessa in here for some reason, Elizabeth is now called Abby, you've got Garrett as well, Max, a whole bunch of brand new characters, we can't safely assume that was the case. Or maybe, you know, the little girl isn't. Uh, Abby. Because again, if we're to believe what that Twitter user says, William is a dad. So maybe that little girl who's screaming daddy is screaming daddy because her dad, William Afton, is getting his face punched in in a water fountain. I don't know. It's a very, very interesting situation. Once again, I'd love to know what are your theories in the comments down below? Also, can I just say, oh my god, those punches were brutal. I know a lot of people were talking about the, what the, the age rating of the film is going to be on Twitter a couple days ago. Dude, if we get more punches like that, who knows? Maybe we could get this movie actually rated R. Can you imagine that? I know my boy 3C Films had a theory where, also shout out to 3C Films. He's been giving me a couple shout outs in his videos. Absolutely love you, Chris. But he had a crazy theory where they zoom out, they do a panning up shot of William, who just got his face punched in in, in the fountain, and there's a whole bunch of blood that's covered the fountain. It could be crazy. Next episode, we're going to be taking a look at some Pop Goes news, and then after that... Well, we've got a whole bunch of other FNAF news to talk about, revolving U2s, the cookbook, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will of course see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.